If you don't want to talk to me, you have no right to trespass me from the park. I do because the city is asking me to trespass oh, okay. you from the park. On she what, works for okay. the city. That's fair. A youth soccer coach is now banned from parks and faces some criminal charges over what prosecutors say was disruptive behavior towards a city worker. And they go on to say that the problems with the mandate all the way back to last fall. Some in the public service sector say this isn't an isolated issue and that more public employees are taking public abuse. Daniel Woodruff investigates. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm so sorry. This is the recreation manager for West Point City. Oh, there's okay. a policy to use the parks. She's just called the Davis County Sheriff's Office about Brent Matthews, who showed up at Arnold Bingham Park April 13th with his youth soccer team. What? And he was just belligerent right off the bat. Carly Norwood tells the deputy that organized teams have to register with the city to use parks for liability reasons, but that Matthews has refused to do that for months. I tried to talk to him and say, can I just talk to you for a minute? And he's like, oh, what are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I have the right to be here. Okay. Am I uh, being detained? Yes, you are at the moment. For what? A deputy stops Matthews, who denies doing anything wrong. I, I'm a civil litigation attorney. Okay. I know my rights. Okay. And uh, if you don't have probable cause for the stop, then okay. am I free to go? He speaks to officers for a few minutes, then leaves the park without giving his name. Uh, no, no report needed. But the city of West Point later tells police this is the last straw. In my mind, it was this unacceptable behavior. Asking that Matthews be banned from all city-owned parks. I just didn't feel like it was something that should be left undone. Hey, this is Sergeant Kirk. The next day, a sergeant records himself calling Matthews with the news. You are trespassed from all parks in West Point City. Sergeant, this is bull****. So, hold on, hold on. Matthews accuses Norwood of being the aggressor and threatens to sue. A few days later, prosecutors charge Matthews with interfering with a public servant. He since pleaded not guilty and declined to speak with Two News about the case. It was really concerning. Kyle Laws, West Point City Manager, says he's especially troubled by one thing about that evening at the park. Norwood had said during the ordeal, the young soccer players who were there also began engaging in the same behaviors exhibited by Mr. Matthews. She felt harassed. For sure. By more than just the coach. Yes. Yes, she did. She felt harassed by them. She felt bullied. She felt intimidated. Do you notice more of your employees dealing with abuse from the public? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that um, in almost every department, we're seeing a trend. Cameron Deal with the Utah League of Cities and Towns agrees. Unfortunately, we're seeing more and more examples of where residents are taking out their frustration and their anger against uh, public employees. Like in Farmington, where this guy unleashed a profane rant at workers at City Hall over snow removal, even throwing snow inside the building. In an email, Farmington City Manager blamed blowups like this on poor examples of civility from national leaders that have now infiltrated small town politics. Deal sees that too. Well, there are proper channels to take up that concern. You can call your mayor, you can call your city council member because they're the ones who actually set the policy for the city. But it's completely inappropriate to berate a uh, public employee. He comes at me like that, you know what I mean? Back in West Point, the city manager says this all needs to stop. It's not the employee's fault that what they're doing is happening. They're carrying out their job, they're doing what they've been asked to do, and you know, it would be nice if residents and society would care to understand rather than just react. You have no right to trespass me from the fight. Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.